Hi students, I'm Abhishek from Vidyaru and in today's session I'm going to discuss profit and loss. I'm going to teach you the smartest, shortest and simplest shortcuts, simplest tricks for solving these questions. And if you like the video, please press the like button for sure, share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And while subscribing, make sure you press the bell icon because that's how you're going to get the notifications of all our videos. And this video is in complete English medium. As you can see, I'm conversing in English. So it is especially made for our students from South India, our students from Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Andhra Pradesh and our students from Northeast India because uh, these students face some difficulty while uh, we speak in Hindi. That is why a complete English medium video. So now let's get started. Make sure you are there till the end because with each question, the difficulty level is going to increase. Let's get started. Now the first question. The first question, read what is given on your screen and I won't use any X and Y, I won't use any variables, only shortcuts. So a 10% decrease in wheat price makes it possible for a trader to buy 25 kg more for rupees 2250. So what has happened students? The price has changed. The price has changed and because of a decrease in price, the quantity has also got changed. Now the trader can buy, now the trader can buy 25 kg more and the total money that he is investing is rupees 2250. The original price of wheat was, we have to find out the original price of wheat. So look at the decrease, there is a 10% decrease. That means if the price was 10 rupees earlier, 10% is what? Students 10% in fractional terms is 1 by 10. That means on a base of 10, there is a decrease of 1. So if the price was 10 units earlier, now the price has become 9 units. So the old price, the old price was 10 rupees and the new price is what students? The new price is 9 rupees. Because the price has got decreased, you will be able to buy more quantity Obviously, students' price and quantity have an inverse relationship. So, look at the ratio, look at the proportion. The price has decreased. The price has decreased from 10 units to 9 units. So, obviously, what will happen, students? The quantity will increase. The new quantity, now you will be able to buy more. Now you will be able to buy more in inverse proportion that means the quantity will increase in the ratio 9 is to 10 quantity will increase in the ratio 9 is to 10 so earlier the old quantity if earlier you were able to buy 9 units now you are able to buy 10 units now let's look at this increase there is an increase of one part students in the quantity there is an increase of one part but this one part in kilograms is what? It, this one part in kilograms is 25. Yes or no? So one part is equal to 25. And what was the quantity you were buying earlier? You were buying nine parts earlier. One part is equal to 25. So nine parts is equal to what? Students, nine part is equal to 25 into nine. That means 225. So earlier, Earlier you were buying 225 kilo and what was the money you were investing? The money was 2250 earlier also, even now it is 2250. So you were investing 2250 rupees and you were buying 225 kg wheat with it. So what is, what was the per, per kg? price the per kg price is 2250 upon 225 that means very simply the price was rupees 10 the price was rupees 10 the original price was 10 rupees sure students the original price was 10 rupees so if you like our method of teaching if you like our logical smart method of teaching call upon the numbers which are given on your screen speak with our representatives and join our live online classes Join our live online classes and our video courses which are provided with study material which covers everything for banking, SSC and government job exam preparation. So make sure you dial upon these numbers right away. Profit made by selling a shirt for Rs. 367 
is the same as the loss borne by selling it at rupees 203. So there is a shirt. If we sell it at 367, there is a profit. There is a loss. If we sell it at 203 rupees, there is a loss. If we sell it at 203 rupees. So of course the cost price is somewhere in between. The cost price is somewhere in between these two values. Now, of course, we have been given that the value of loss is the same as the value of profit. So when, when it is sold at 203, there is a loss. So this is the gap between 203 and cost price. That is the value of loss. Similarly, the gap between 367 and cost price, that is the value of profit. And we have been given that profit is equal to loss. So what is the total gap students? The total gap between these two values 367 and 203. What is the total gap? 367 and 203. So 4, 6, 164. 164 is the total gap between these two values. So obviously there is a profit of 82 and there is a loss of 82. The profit and loss are the same. 82 plus 82 will give you the total gap. It will give you the total gap 164. That means when I sell this shirt at 203 rupees, I'm making a loss of 82 rupees. So cost price is of course higher. Cost price is higher than 203. How much higher? 82 rupees higher. So cost price is 203 plus 80. Two. That means 285 is the cost price. Students, 285 is the cost price. And now you have to find out the selling price when we make 20% profit. 20% is what students? In fractional terms, it is 1 by 5. So 20% profit is being earned on 285 rupees. That means 1 by 5 of 285. 1 by 5 of 285. 5 5s are 25, sure, 5 7s are 35. So a profit of 57 rupees is made when we sell it at 20% profit. So what is the selling price? Cost price 285 plus 57, the profit. 5 and 7, 12, 8, 5, 13, 13 and 1, 14, 342. Students, 342, that is the selling price and the answer is option C. So isn't it an interesting way of solving these questions without assuming any X and Y? And let's see what it is about. A salesman offers 4% discount on list price. Students, discount is always offered on list price. List price is also known as mark price. Sure, mark price or list price, it is one and the same thing. Discount is 4% on list price. And one egg free with every 15. So he gives you, the salesman gives you one egg free with every 15. And still he makes 35% profit. He makes a profit of 35%. We have to find out, find out the markup on CP. On cost price, what is the markup? On cost price in percentage terms, that is what we have to find out. So we will have to find out cost price first. So now let's get started. We have been given that there is a 4% discount on list price. So let the list price be 100. Let the list price be 100. So there is a 4% discount. That means he's selling it at 96 rupees. The sale, selling price is what? The selling price is 96 rupees for one egg. For one egg, the list price is 100. The selling price is 96. 96 rupees. Imagine it's a very costly egg, isn't it? So we are selling it at 96 rupees. Now what happens? He gives one egg free with every 15. That means students, he is giving you 16 eggs. 16 eggs are being sold at the selling price of 16 eggs because one is provided as free. So a total of 16 eggs are being provided. So 16 eggs are being sold at the price of only 15. He is charging you only for 15 eggs. And what is he charging per egg? He is charging 90 
सिक्स रुपीज सो स्टूडेंट्स फिफ्टीन इंटू नाइनटी सिक्स दैट विल बी द सेलिंग प्राइस ऑफ सिक्सटीन एग्स नाउ लेट्स फाइंड आउट नाइनटी सिक्स इंटू फिफ्टीन सिक्स फाइव ज सिक्स फाइव ज थर्टी नाइन फाइव ज फोर्टी फाइव फोर्टी फाइव एंड थ्री फोर्टी एट वी हैव नाइनटी सिक्स सो वट इज दैट वन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी सो स्टूडेंट्स वन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी दैट इज द टोटल सेलिंग प्राइस वन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी रुपीज दैट इज द टोटल सेलिंग प्राइस एंड वेन ही सेल्स एट वन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी ही इज मेकिंग अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ थर्टी फाइव परसेंट द सेलिंग प्राइस इज वन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी एंड प्रॉफिट इज थर्टी फाइव परसेंट सो थर्टी फाइव परसेंट थर्टी फाइव परसेंट सो इफ कॉस्ट प्राइस इज हंड्रेड पार्ट स्टूडेंट इफ कॉस्ट प्राइस इज हंड्रेड पार्ट अफकोर्स ही इज मेकिंग थर्टी फाइव परसेंट प्रॉफिट सो द सेलिंग प्राइस इज वॉट द सेलिंग प्राइस इज हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी फाइव पार्ट बिकॉज थर्टी फाइव परसेंट प्रॉफिट इज देर सो नाउ नाउ वन थर्टी फाइव पार्ट इज द सेलिंग प्राइस दैट यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड एंड हंड्रेड पार्ट इज द कॉस्ट प्राइस वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द कॉस्ट प्राइस so we have been given we have found out that 135 parts the selling price is equal to 1440 so one part becomes equal to what students one part is equal to 1440 divided by 135 and of course i have to find out the cost price what is the cost price students the cost price is 100 parts So hundred parts will be what one four four zero upon one thirty five into hundred. Now fifteen nines are yes fifteen nines are one thirty five fifteen yes fifteen nines are one thirty five again we are left with ninety ninety six. So still it is divisible by three three thirty two yes so. Three two double zero upon three students three thousand two hundred upon three. That is the cost price because cost price is hundred parts. Cost price is hundred parts, and it has turned out to be three thousand two hundred by three. But students, this is the cost price. This is the cost price of sixteen eggs. What is the cost price of one egg? The cost price of one egg. This is the cost price of sixteen eggs, na? So the cost price of one egg. we can find out by dividing this value by 16 so 16 twos are so 200 by 3 200 by 3 that is the cost price of one egg so it's 200 by 3 is the cost price of one egg what was the list price of one egg the list price of one egg is 100 so on a base of 200 by 3 on a base of 200 by 3 there is a markup and after the markup it becomes 100 sure so of course there is a markup of what there is a markup of 100 upon 3 very simple i can subtract i can subtract 200 upon 3 from 100 and i'll be getting i'll be getting 100 by 3 that is the markup so 100 by 3 that is the markup on a base of what we started the cost price was 200 upon 3 we started with 200 upon 3 200 by 3 to calculate the percentage we multiply by 100 so it will be what it will get cancelled out 100 upon 2 that means 50% so students the markup is what the markup is 50% option D markup of fifty percent was there. So if you have liked our videos, please press the like button for sure. Share the video with your friends and make sure you call upon these numbers and become a part of our live online classes. Thank you so much. God bless you.